that they come here because of how magical this place is. One guy stopped me one day and told me that he uh, he had come here a year ago and smoked five cigars too much in one to get what he wanted, and he actually got it, so he was coming back to thank him. Uh, Are you superstitious? Yeah, uh, personally I am. Uh, Juan Manuel is also super superstitious. Uh, we do believe in the Mashimon's magic and we do trust that that's why we have this magical place with us. Depicted here the beginning of life uh, according to the Mayas. So each one of the, of the um, jeroglyphics that you see on top uh, represents uh, life, energy and everything that takes together to create them. Uh, it's supposed to be 20 Naktums, but we couldn't fit them all over the staircase, so the uh, shadows are just painted in the last of them. Then, uh, tell me about this man here. Uh, Mashimon, also known as San Simon. Uh, and uh, his story is that he was uh, a, a person that used to help people during the... Uh, used to help indigenous people. Uh, he was arrested several times uh, and he was put to death but after his death he would appear in different points and still help the people so he started becoming a saint they say that he used to appear in the park in the corners of the park here in Antigua why do you have one? Uh, well uh, the reason is we got one uh, the bar got one from someone uh, and uh, it's uh, they gave it to the bar because it's good for business. The red mashimon is good for business, and uh, everyone can ask for him, asking for something. For example, one day when we cleaned them up, uh, the bigger one that we had, uh, we started finding uh, pieces of paper from the employees that were asking for things that we got from Shaman. Uh, this is Mashimon, if you see it in the center, it's one of the traditional Mashimons. You could actually see one like that in uh, Lake Atitlan, in Santiago Atitlan. And to the right, you can see uh, death. And to the left, you can see a lady representing life. And this is one of his latest